this next video shows the uh, final rear end mock-up. Basically, I have all my parts on the engine uh, so that I can see where my build area is, and I show basically where all the motor mounts are. I've been working for the last couple of days to block up the motor and the drivetrain. Got it on more permanent supports. Got everything mounted to the motor that's pretty much going to mount to the motor uh, as far as where it's going to sit inside the, the body of the, uh, the VW. Got my compressor bolted on. My alternator needs to go on. I'm still waiting for a uh, alternator bracket bushing for that. You can see I've got straight through pipes on this. I'm going to attempt to use the electric turbo which gives me the uh, ability to run just a straight downpipe out the back, which is good. I'll have no back pressure. I've uh, got the starter mounted, got the clutch, and there is the rear um, bracket that mounts to the MR2's frame or unit body. Uh, I will be building uh, my frame up against that bracket. Uh, here is the driver's side bracket. Uh, that will mount to the frame. Uh, here is the rear bracket on the transmission. This is the motor mount. These are all motor mounts. That's the rear motor mount. It, it attaches to the rear cross member which attaches to all the suspension components underneath. All of the control arms, linkages, Still made a tweak it just a hair here and there. I have to support these struts perfectly straight up and down. Uh, right now they move a little bit so I need to support those and get those in a uh, supported position in order to make sure the framework is in the right place. But so far so good. The next thing I'll be doing really is to uh, tie these front struts down and remove that steel bar between uh, at the bottom in between them in order to lay the frame in there find out where the frame's going to be so that's kind of where we stand right now